Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Wednesday, July 8th, 2022. So many twos today. I'm the drunk poker root, his beer time. So I was on the way home from work today. I'm off tomorrow. I had to stop and get some beers at the LCBO because I wanted some a, a collection of, let's say, IPAs I like to drink for later because, you know, day off tomorrow. i, I got to have a couple pops tonight. So I found some new stuff, too, and that's always fun to find some new stuff. This one's, I mean, it's, it's usually one of my favorite breweries. Um, things have changed, of course. Uh, Grand River Brewing used to be based out of Galt, Ontario. Uh, Farm League is now occupying that former space. Uh, Grand River was bought by Magnata, and they now brew out of Vaughan, Ontario. Um, so this is Grand Avenue. Juicy IPA. 6.5% juicy IPA. So looking New England style IPA. Canning date of February. In the refrigerator at LC, so that's good. Looking for juicy IPA. Is that a style? Why do we do this? Just call it IPA. But anyways, we'll see. Promising start. Like I said, there was a time when Grand River played a massive role in my discovery of craft beer because they were one of those breweries that had a lot of things at the LCBO at the time. I didn't know we could go visit breweries. That wasn't a thing. We didn't understand that. Um, but Curmudgeon IPA was their English IPA. And it was one of my most favorite beers of all time. And I didn't understand that there was seasonality to beers, that beers would come and go. I just, I went to the LCBO, no, no, it's just, no, it'll be back later in the year. I was like, what do you mean, be back later? It's a beer, it should make it all the time. So, that, they had a great Imperial Stout at the time. Anyways, things kind of didn't go that well after a while, and then we see what happens. So let's get into it, let's try it, because hopefully, you know what? I love a good redemption tale. Who doesn't like a good comeback, right? Don't call it a comeback, I've been here for years. Cheers. So, I don't know. You know, I always have hope in my heart. I do. I have hope in my heart that things can be different. Things are not different. That orange, it actually leans a little west. A little bit. There's not a lot of uh, bitterness, obviously. It, it, it kind of floral notes. It's a little blah. They're supposed to be like berry notes. I'm not getting that. Yeah, it's kind of... Listen, I know juicy IPAs, okay? I, I think I get the concept of juicy New England style IPAs. I've had third moon beers. I, I bought Haze Mama and Good Monster today from Grand Great Lakes and, and Collective, respectively. They're one of my favorite styles. This is not that. It's, mis it's false advertising. Like, it's barely an IPA. It's hardly a pale ale. It's an ale that you introduce to a hop. Listen, I'm not going to lie. I was... I had a bit of hope in my heart. I'm like, okay, maybe this is going to be where it turns around. You know, this is a pretty decent style to brew. Even with a little long in the tooth, I'm like, well, you know, we'll give it the best. No. Everything is muted. It's almost like drinking through a cheesecloth and so don't just don't buy it i'm sorry I, I don't say that very often you know try it for yourself maybe you'll like it you won't and you'll have wasted three dollars of your, of your hard-earned money and right now with inflation that can buy like what a liter of gas a liter and a half <sighs> okay i drink them so you don't have to you're welcome poke loves you my friends this not so much cheers No, it's not good. 